What up? Hope you're doing well. What's going on? I hope you're doing well. This is Gabriel from What Are The Painters. All right. So we're gonna be doing this little mini here. Little repair here. Some primer spots there. And we'll see how it goes. We got a brand new fender. I'm gonna put some sealer on it. This is a PPG sealer, it's G5. And I just cleaned it with a microfiber, which are freaking awesome. Not mine, but uh, that's what I've been using, microfiber cloths to clean everything. And it's been working very, very, very well, so that's a really good update for you guys. It's been a while since I started using them, and I'm still using them, so that's a good thing. And I, I clean and I tack with my microfiber cloth. Same one. Try to keep that clean. You see my WS400 1.3. Spray the sealer. Does a great job with it. Nice and smooth. with the color all right I'm cleaning this one with uh, water cleaner the PPG water cleaner I forget the name you can go if you go to PPG refinish.com you can look at all the products and all their uh, their clean stuff this is the one choice uh, water based cleaner it's really nice I like it not a degreaser though, so if you think you need to degrease the car, then make sure you get that. Like a 900 or a prime wash. But as you can see, I cleaned the paper, I mean the plastic. Make sure that it's all nice and clean. This is very important when you're a lot of you guys know this already, but I mean, the thing with painting is the actual painting doesn't take that long. But it's it's the way that you clean it, the way that you prepare it, you know, that uh, takes a little bit longer. But if you do it properly, and if you care a little bit, you should be able to get some decent paint jobs. I mean, I don't get perfect clean paint jobs. That's for sure. But I try, you know, because I'd rather not spend time polishing if I don't have to. I'd rather move on to the next car and not have this one in the back of my mind. Right? So. You know, I try to keep it clean. Always dry it. When you're wiping, always dry where you just wiped. That way, you won't be left with any streaks. Now, with this water damp microfiber cloth, I tap just slightly. I like about the microfiber cloth is that uh, it picks everything up and uh, I love that because they just grab things and uh, get them away from the pan what you need
Also, another thing, if you have a floor, make sure you blow it all out before you start painting. And then also, obviously the rest of the car. But I always, with, with, my, with my blower, I always pretend like I'm painting the car when I'm blowing it, right? That way, whatever air turbulence I'm going to create, I'm creating it before I paint the car. So if anything lands on top, I can blow it off already. Sealer's dry. I'm using my Wacom HTE base, 1.3, and I'm going to dry it out, but, uh, I'm using uh, T, uh, T494, 493, and 492 in here uh, because PPG has recommended it. We had a, a few comebacks. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the, I'm going to, let's see what I'm spraying out here. Okay, we're going to spray at 20 PSI just to get that first coat of time. A light coat first on this color, because in silver sometimes you have to be careful, you can't put it on too heavy. Okay, it's a light coat like this. I'm probably doing half trigger just because I want to get a light a light mist on there. This one I can hammer it on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pressure down to 13. And I'm going to apply it almost as wet as circle. And this base is reduced 20%. Okay? So it's thicker. A little bit thicker so I can apply it a little bit heavier and this has been working amazing for me and obviously provided you have blowers to blow the water out of it. Next we're going to do 25 psi and we're going to go for coverage and then we're going to reduce the crap out of that so we can blend it out nicely. It's so humid today, it's like 90% humidity out there. I'm recording, yes. I'm always paranoid, so I wouldn't be surprised if it just stops recording out of nowhere. But see, that's a uh, uh, nice, 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 nice light coat. Second coat, I'm going to hammer it on, go for coverage. And obviously, I'm going to cover the whole hood, but we're going to try to stay away from this fender here. So as you can see, if you, go, if you rewind a few seconds, you can see I'm not spraying like this, I'm spraying like this. So letting the gun do the hard work. That's my best challenge, letting the gun do the work. I don't know if I missed enough space, I don't think I did. I misjudged this job. Big time. Because I only mix eight ounces. I don't think eight ounces is gonna cut it. But we'll see. Maybe it will. I'm gonna make sure I get good coverage on there. And then now I'm gonna put the put the blowers on. And I'm gonna go and over reduce that base. These blowers are a lifesaver. Still got some base in there, so I think I'll, I'll be able to do it. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to over reduce it a lot. So it's probably about a couple of ounces in there. If that. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of ounces, a few ounces in there. Make just sure it's all out of it. Tap there. All right. Now, we're going to add the T490. You can do 100% reduction on this, even more if you want. I do a lot because I want it to blend out beautifully. So what I've done there, I believe it's so that's good to go, give that a nice swirl. I believe this is two to one. Uh T four ninety four and T four ninety two. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below a link in the description down below of, uh, of the link for PPG. You guys need to go into ppg.com. I don't work for PPG and uh, I think you should go to ppg.com and then you know you guys could um, see the reduction stuff and follow it to the T because that's what works. Okay? Anyways. Alright here we go. Well, put it at 22 psi, 23, and I'm going to put it on heavy. This color is extremely difficult to blend out, so, because I've sprayed it before, so I'm going to use as much as I can from this door. I'm going to do the whole of it. And this is very over reduced, so it should lay down smoothly. And I'm going to go to another reduction hit as well. Right up to the right there we go. Beautiful. Another one in here. Nice and heavy. put this to dry and I will over reduce it even more now and then we're gonna notice that we're not gonna notice the transition of the base coat and that's what we want we want to not notice it here we go I normally don't mind if what you're putting on, especially with silvers, looks a tiny little bit darker. Once you put the clear coat on, everything evens out. Not, I don't want someone to go and put on like black on silver and then say, oh, Gabe told me that once I put clear, it'll be okay. No, that's not true, okay? But you can obviously see that that kind of looks darker, okay? Now, I'm going to do one more coat and this is a little bit more reduced. And you're going to see how even it's all going to look.
Because you don't have to redo the job, so it looks beautiful. That's still drying, obviously, but uh, I'm happy with that. All right. I'm glad it looks good, or else you guys would be look looking at it anyways. <laughs> All right, check it out. Oh, that could have been bad. Now we're going to go down to 18 PSI. And quick double control tool. Freaking awesome, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I don't mind taking an extra five minutes, extra 10 minutes. If the job's gonna come out beautiful, if the job's gonna come out better, then I'm all up for it, you know? People might think, oh, well, what a waste of time. I hate this. This is the one thing I don't like about this. Whoa, 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 hold on! This guy's crazy! He's opening the door while I'm trying to paint! Oh, what a guy! Here we go. Alright, alright, alright! Ready for clear. Got my HCE. Uh, clear 1.3 we got the base nice 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 laid down there we got a nice blender nice 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 got a nice fender nice 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 everything's good now I did uh, EC530 with extra reducer okay so I'm using EC85 reducer because it's about 85 to 90 degrees you could use the 98 uh, reducer which is a lot slower and you have to let the flash the flash go for longer this I'll let the flash go for 10 minutes okay I'm gonna put both coats on the first coat is gonna be a little bit faster but not really um, I still wanna hammer on the clear so the way that I set up my welcome clear is this all the way out. This is a 1.3. So the fluid all the way out until I hit my finger. Fan all the way open and then just maybe like a couple of centimeters closed. And then I spray at 34 PSI. so far so I'm doing like a 75 to 85 I'm, I'm going to say more like an 85 to 90 percent overlap now depending on the uh, finish that you want to get you can do a bigger overlap or smaller overlap or just slow down or speed up that is the that is slowly one of the biggest tips that I can give you when you're clearing, right? Always look at what the gun is doing. If it's look, coming out too orange peeling, slow down. If it's not orange peel enough, speed up. Your second coat of clear is going to look almost like the first coat of clear. 
So if you can make your first coat of cure nice and smooth, then your second coat of cure is going to mold right, right the same. So if you make the first coat nice and smooth, then you can make the second coat nice and smooth. And then it's uh, 30 ounces of clear. Because I know if I have some leftover, I have another hood that I'm going to do right there and uh, I won't waste any clear. So we're gonna set a timer here where we're waiting for eight minutes. Cause that's already been a couple minutes. So look at that, already looks great. We'll be right back folks. Folks, since when do I say folks? Anyways. Right. So for that time for the way I move my gun, my arm is fully extended, and I'm just moving my wrist to keep the gun straight with the panel. Very important. And I keep it down and go a little bit farther than the hood there. That's gonna keep you, that's gonna keep the job cleaner as well. From what I've noticed over the years. Awesome. Let's see, I'm going to use most of the clear that I need. Mix. Always off the panel. That looks beautiful, I love it. Always off the panel, you see that? Okay? Just a little tip for you guys, keep your jobs a little cleaner. It helps a little bit. I mean, anything helps, right? Whatever you can, to keep the jobs cleaner. Keep the important. Beautiful. Check it out. Love it. Okay. So now what we're gonna do? We still got a little bit of clear in there, not much. So what I do now is I put it in here. Oh, I'm just talking to myself. That's what I do with. What's that? Right. Oh, if I want to drink? We're going to drink in the job? <laughs> yeah, I'll have, a, I'll have a NOS. I'm going to leave this in the video, okay? So you can smile. Is it blinking red? <laughs> Alright. So, I'm going to shove this into the bake oven get this thing out of here out of my way check it out looks great love it no signs of the blend and that's what you want okay you see the transition here 
boom, it just disappears. Okay, that's what you can achieve when you're at the T490 in there. And you get a really awesome finish. Right, Cam? I wouldn't be able to paint as many cars as I do if it wasn't for that guy. Because he helps me move the cars out of the booth. So I can just keep painting. But, check it out. This came out very, very, very clean. Let's see if I can find some nibs here. Oh, some one there. Another one up there. Looks about it. Love it. Happy with it. Yeah, baby! On to the next. Just doing the hood. Awesome. So what I do, I do a number of transport van there. That's coming in next, and then that is a matte finish quarter panel that I should probably make a video on that.